with almost half of marriages ending in divorce, which is in most cases initiated by women, it's fair to say that matrimony don't always guarantee a happy ending. While some people are fortunate enough to find love again with a new partner, others live to regret divorcing their spouse. Here are stories of women lifting the lid on what happened after they left their husbands for someone else and ended up realizing they made a huge mistake. A little bit of background for those who missed my previous post. I am 35 years old and got divorced from my husband four years ago. Prior to that we were together for 13 years. We literally grew up together, high school, university, travel, bought our first home and eventually got married. In the last few years of our relationship leading to divorce I started feeling bored and restless, my ex-husband wanted to settle down while I was still in party mode and wanted to go out and socialize. He wanted to go bushwalking while I wanted to go out dancing. Resentment started to build between him and me and I started developing feelings for my colleague. I felt like I was no longer in love with my husband and we split up shortly after that. I never had an affair. Looking back on my behavior I feel like I made a huge mistake. My ex-husband was a kind and caring man who always wanted the best for me. I on the other hand prioritized partying over his feelings and our marriage. He eventually moved on, remarried soon after, and they recently had a baby. I try my best to be happy for him but deep down I'm heartbroken. What hurts even more is knowing it was all my fault and I immaturely ruined something so special and pure. Meanwhile my colleague and me ended up getting together down the road. It's been three years since we have been together and already our relationship is volatile and unstable. I feel a deep longing for my ex-husband, the comfort he provided me, and grieving all the memories we had lost. Every single day I blame myself for divorcing him and wish I could go back in time and tell my immature young self how difficult the path ahead would be. I feel like after four years I should be feeling much better, it never gets any easier. Investing in my new relationship is really hard at times as I am still desperately grieving my ex. It almost feels like someone has died. I miss him so much it causes me physical pain. What makes it even worse is the fact that I was the one who wanted this. It has caused so much unhappiness in my new marriage and I will have to suffer the consequences for the rest of my life. In most cases people end up in a much better place for having left or been left. Has anyone experienced a situation similar to mine, in that you were the one who messed up and ruined a wonderful marriage? I question whether I am a bad person, I'm so confused and have no clarity on anything, I am constantly tortured by thoughts of what could have been, it's hard getting through each day at the moment to a point of having extremely horrible dark thoughts. You are a bad person and you definitely made a huge mistake, we are all bad people who make mistakes. It is understandable as the two of you paired up quite young, and you really had no way of knowing that you were giving up something of great value. I believe you have suffered the death of a very strong relationship, a death must be grieved, the emotions must be honored. The best thing you can do is understand why you made the decision you made and learn from it. Also, rather than being in a relationship that forces you to rethink your choices I suggest that you focus on yourself and love yourself first. Lastly, apologizing to your ex might help with your healing process. All the best. Second story. I'm solely to blame for this divorce and will forever regret my mistakes, trying to make civil for our kids' sake. My emotions are all messed up right now, I am solely to blame for this mess I have put myself in. About nine years ago I was on a deployment and became friends with a guy I met, strictly friends. Over the years we still remained close friends but then my heart got tied up in it and the friendship developed to being more of an emotional affair. My husband was working really hard to provide for us and our kids, he is a damn good provider but this kept him away from home so often, more than I ever liked. I also tend to be very needy in regards to affection and physical touch, but he on the other hand does not need it. Over the past few years, I have felt like we are roommates sleeping in separate bedrooms, he says it's only because of his work hours. 
Deep down, I kept a secret that my heart was not fully my husband's, that there was this friend who had part of it for so many years. About three years ago my significant other confronted me about the friendship and it was clear that the emotional affair was not mutual. The other guy barely ever responded and always I was the one initiating the conversations probably out of boredom and loneliness. I went no contact with the guy for two years after husband finding out about my feelings for the other guy. I wanted to make my marriage work but I still could not shake the feelings I had for other guy. He does not leave in same state as us, never has. Military has kept him all over the United States but never in the same state. Last year I got a message from him after not hearing from him for over two years, he had been going through a taut time and I made a mistake replying to his message and consoling him over his relationship loss. I again made another mistake, I sent him a birthday card with no return address, just wanted him to know he was thought about cause he was going through a lot. This was probably the worst thing for me to do because he ended up sending me a message on Facebook and my husband saw it and went crazy. Well, after months of contemplating divorce husband finally filed last week. I am forever regretful cause I single-handedly broke a decent marriage. Yes we had our differences but my soon-to-be husband is not a bad man by any means, if anything he is the most caring, understanding and kind person I have ever met. Right now I'm an emotional wreck and can't seem to keep it together, our kids don't really know what is going on just yet and I hope it stays that way because we are trying to keep things normal for them. As of now I'm keeping our house and the kids will live with me full time, I want him to see them as often as he wants but he works nights so he really can't swing the full time thing. So he will be getting them from school in the afternoons and every other weekend. The plus to part of my woes is we own a rental house next door so after our renter's lease is up in a couple months he will move over there, but for now will live with us even after the legal divorce. To make the situation even more stressful I'm in nursing school right now five days a week. It's a challenging program and fast paced I almost feel like quitting to get a job cause I don't know how I am going to cope. My soon to be ex keeps saying things will be okay. He is ensuring we are both set financially and won't fail, we have minimal debt and agreed he will pay off what we owe at tax time. I have not worked in more than seven years so I will need to get a job immediately I get done with school so I can carry my own insurance. I received a letter from his attorney explaining how once the divorce is final my health benefits are done, and I have to either get my own or do Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. I panicked because I don't have a job yet but soon to be ex keeps insisting I don't need to get one. We're good friends still, we actually sat out by a campfire and talked like good old friends. He keeps reminding me that we are just too different for each other. That he wants the both of us to be happy. I realize I'm all to blame, if my heart had been 100% his all these years and I had just been happy with the time we do get together, everything would be great. The fact that he is all calm and not really making a huge deal out of the whole ordeal makes me even more miserable. Our kids deserve to have both of us in their lives full time and I ruined that and our marriage. I ruined myself, my husband and our kids' lives. Now all I look forward to is the divorce probably in the next 90 days, the stress of finishing nursing school and then moving on with my life. I realize I will get some bashing for being the wrong one in this but I'm a miserable wreck and admit my wrongs for the emotional affair. How do I get through this and not lose myself?